the screen on the computer just froze so I, anyway um yeah there was a lot of mention of jesus in this ceremony and jesus is the antichrist um he's also represents everyone and yeah when i was listening to all the things that they were saying about god and all the things that they were saying about you know christ they weren't talking about me they 100 percent weren't talking about me i don't know what the archbishop um really i don't think he knows anything about me and it actually makes me listening to this actually made me feel like no one in the royal family knows about me um which could be the truth i, I don't know um and yeah having him mention jesus's name or oh, the king of kings the lord of the lords and he kept building up god and and making god seem like some marvelous thing that just sits on a crown and, and an everlasting throne all, all the time and yeah, I, I really don't like this um you know that's that to me was an anointing under the antichrist not not anointing under jesus as in everyone on earth you know i think if you were to talk about jesus in in knowledge that jesus is actually code for jesus and you know what jesus is anointing you why because i am anointing you we are anointing you you know there's a bunch of people standing around him anointing him so yeah he is being anointed by jesus um but yeah there was a bit more you know we're, we're being anointed by the spirit of the people the person that anointed jesus and 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 stuff and and it was just it was kind of kept putting the focus on Jesus of Nazareth, e.g. the Antichrist, the false Christ, um, the thing that's not everlasting in a rainfall parade of himself or something like that. And I, I don't like this, you know. I think if I was seen as God, if people believed that I was God in the future, I, I wouldn't want there to be so much build up of what God is like. You know, God is a time traveling spirit that, um, is not actually reigning right now that's that's one of the key things she's not reigning no one knows who she is right now i think there's a bunch of people that do but i i they seem to be keeping everything secret and i, I don't know what's going on with that um but yeah she's not reigning and even if she was reigning um to, to, to say things like she just sits on an eternal flame an internal um uh throne to sit on the it's nonsense it's nonsense i would like to see a bit the next ceremony they do i'd love there to be a bit more reality to it you know um technically if it was a choice between R william or harry i would choose harry i think he's more fun he's more interesting um but it's true that perhaps william is a better representative for the nation um why because he's more boring and i don't like him as much and you know Technically, that is what a king should be. A king or queen should be a representation of what the average person is like, or the average upper class person, not the average lower class person, the average upper, upper class person. Um, you know, that's how I feel of Charles. I like the name Charles because um, there was a boy born in the same room, in the same hospital on the same day, um, or the few hours after me, I think it was. Um, and we looked like twins for the first three years of our life, went to the same nursery together, and his, his name was Charles. Um, so I like the name Charles, but yeah, as as a person, Charles, I, I think he's a bit boring too. He's just a normal, nice, polite, kind of dull. Um, you know, there's there's nothing sparky, interesting about him. You know, if I had a conversation with him, I wouldn't know what to say. I'd just be like, ah, oh, how was your day? <laughs> like I don't, and then I I could see him just being like yeah very very well thank you and then you'll get bored and walk off you know i i can kind of see us just not having anything in common um and maybe a similar thing will happen with with william i mean i'm sure i could get a conversation out of him um uh, about maybe his military or stuff or, but at the end of the day i don't think i really care so um i could talk with him but i i don't know if i would really care whereas i feel like if i spoke to um if i spoke to harry i i would actually be I'd be flirting a little bit um but yeah um I if he William gets anointed you know they can't they can say that it's God that's anointed you know he's God who's put him in this position why because that's the truth you know my higher self knows the timeline she can see who gets crowned she can see when Charles dies and she can see um you know who will be chosen and yeah first it makes sense to to go with the firstborn and therefore, if, if my higher self really wanted Harry to be king, um, maybe my higher self would have deliberately put 
um, Harry's soul inside, you know, his 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 older brother, um, and maybe his soul would have even changed how he looks because sometimes you know appearance is about like a lot of it is about mind and you making your appearance how you want it. So he would have looked different. You would have looked more like him, of course, because it would have been his body. But I don't know. I, my high self could have done that, and she didn't. So to to think that God has anointed William as next next king, you know. That is kind of the truth. My higher self has done that, um, but yeah, as a as a human, as a person, I don't know either of them, and I just think Harry's more fun. So, um, you know, if, as a human, if I would choose between the two, I I would choose Harry. Um, does that mean anything to anyone? No, probably not. Um, but I don't know. Um, if William was to be now now crowned. I think there should be no mention of Christ because, yeah, technically Christ prefers Harry. So it's just like, um, yeah, to talk about God and uh, is fine. I don't know if he wants to bother with all this. Although I, I do think that's why don't you give him a royal packet of crisps and and, and just I don't know modernize things, make it a bit more fun. Um, but um, yeah, um, yeah, I, I I just felt that the ceremony was actually quite dark. It, it reminded me of. of past kings and mad king george and i don't know that's, that's kind of what it reminded me of just something a bit dark 